What's up? <laughs> Guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or wherever you guys are at. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Truman Show, anybody? All right. So today, another day in paradise, living the dream, doing snow. It is uh, 10.30 on Friday, and uh, it's like my week is just getting started. Dude, there is, let me turn the camera. You got to check this out. It is literally like the snowmageddon over here. It is a snow apocalypse. I don't know if you guys can see out here. It is super bright. Uh, there are plow trucks everywhere. Everybody's doing their thing. It's snowmageddon, man. The world's ending. Dude, literally yesterday, uh, we were at the grocery store at, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. And it was funny because you, you would have thought it was a Super Bowl weekend again with everybody getting groceries and shopping. And uh, like the world's gonna end. There's five tonight. It's just forecasted. like. It's just funny to me because where we live, uh, like that's restored order, order's restored in like 12 hours, dude. Like it's not even a snowstorm. We're gonna get a foot. Oh, I love the media, man. They just hype everything up. Fake news, man. But anyway, uh, so anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, when I said endless snowstorms, I wasn't kidding on my last vlog. Uh, we've had five snowstorms we'll have this week. Monday, Wednesday, Today's Friday, we got another one to three tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and then another two to four on Sunday. So, hashtag chemtrails, just kidding. <laughs> But anyway, it's uh, having a blast, dude. Uh, it's like we're trying to get, we're getting all our lawn care marketing materials printed up. I'm getting uh, some trailer work done. Ooh, a little teaser there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and I'm thinking like full on right now. I'm, I'm imagining it's March, April. And that's how busy on the back end I am with uh, getting my lawn business working and moving. But you got to do snow, man, and the money is good. You got to keep making your rounds. And uh, man, people uh, that I prepaid with, uh, prepaid with me, they're uh, definitely getting their money's worth this year. Last year, I definitely made out. Uh, we only went like six or seven times. Ten is pretty average around here. But right now, this is number eleven. We'll have number twelve tomorrow. Uh, Thirteen on Sunday, whatever. So, and then we still got like a month left, really, of uh, of realistically how much more snow we'll get normally around mid-march normally kind of tapers down uh so these people are getting their money's worth anyway how's the winter going for you guys are you guys getting above average i've uh, watched a lot of you guys on instagram and youtube i know a lot of you guys are making investments into snow plowing and uh, front end loaders and skid steers and all this other stuff and looks like this is the year to get started in snow plow man so hopefully all this video doesn't like motivate you guys and then you can go buy a plow truck next year and then you just sit on your butt all day because uh that's always a risk man with snow it could be the exact opposite where you're uh, going to get a nine to five just to keep the bills paying anyway pulling up to the sherwin williams right now doing our commercial stuff everybody's driving two miles an hour All right, guys, let's keep it moving. I'm gonna try to capture some more footage. Uh, I know it can uh, be kind of redundant being the same uh, driveways with the same no copyright sounds, techno music, just having fun. But um, no, I really enjoy the plow footage, man, that all you guys shoot. And you guys know that uh, I love watching all your guys' videos. I, I still I still do, man, I love watching everybody's videos. In fact, um, everybody was asking me like, who some of the people that you watch. Uh, so a little plug here, shameless plug from my man Julio with Long Care Business Success. Uh, I was actually talking to him last night, man, for about an hour. Uh, he's got some awesome stuff uh, in the works and he's smoking his YouTube channel. Um, I think he's at like 850 subscribers right now and uh, he's trying to hit 1K so his uh, channel doesn't get demonetized and all the garbage that YouTube is doing. But if you guys haven't, do me a favor, pause this video right now and go subscribe to my man's channel. Uh, he's literally like right there. If, if you know, 1% of you guys went over, showed him some love. That's what the lawn care community is all about. People helping people. Go subscribe to his channel, guys. He does uh, his podcast, and that's like 90% of his uh, bread and butter with everything that he's doing. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, he's uh, been smoking his YouTube channel, man. The guy's almost had a thousand subscribers in his first year, and that is really, really cool. So, uh, Julio is one of the guys, man. I always got his podcast going every, I think it's Tuesday, he's got a new episode. In fact, we are the number two most downloaded podcast. So now it's really shameless plug, uh, plugging myself, right? That's that's always classy. But, uh, dude, we have like almost uh, 950 or 1,000 uh, YouTube 
downloads, whatever you call it, or uh, podcast downloads. I think Keith Kalfas, my man Keith, is uh, number one with uh, like 12 or 1300. So that's pretty legit. I uh, love Keith. Guy's uh, an inspiration for darn sure. So go uh, right now. Do me a favor, guys, for real. Go uh, smash the subscribe button. I'll leave a card at the end of this video too. I'll leave his info in the description. Help him get to a thousand uh, for real, and uh, we'll we'll rock on with it. So anyway, let's go plow some more snow. Let's keep at it and uh, have some more fun with this video. What's up, guys? So check this out. <laughs> Round one is done. The lightning and the thunder. So I got all my driveways. You guys can see right here, this one's done. Uh, this guy was actually home, really nice couple. But dude, look at this snow pile back here, man. There's literally nowhere else to put the snow. I'm just literally parking it across the street. What else are you gonna do on 10 inch snowstorms, man? The light has been working great. I'm actually really chill. Like I was talking to my boy, Mike Fidel, who's doing snow, shout out Mike. And uh, dude, like, I don't know, this is so much fun. I helped probably four or five, actually this lady across the street. So that's six uh, old ladies and uh, they're all nice ladies. They're young ladies, but uh, no, it's going good, man. So we're gonna go uh, do my trailer park driveways. Take about a half hour to do those. It takes me 15 minutes to drive there to do uh, 25 minutes worth of work. I got seven over in the trailer park. And then uh, I'm going back home. Help my girl with her signs, take a couple hour lull, and. We'll be going back out at 10, 11 p.m., man. So anyway, a lot of you guys uh, always ask, who am I watching? Sometimes I watch my own videos just to kind of proof them, man. <laughs> I don't, you guys always wonder, like, who watches my videos? I watch my own videos just to proof them, make sure I don't sound like a dork, and uh, make sure everything looks good. So you guys have been blowing up the channel, man. Appreciate it. I think we're going to hit uh, 14K uh, by the end of this next week, and then I want to hit 15 by March, man. That would be that'd be stellar. So keep smashing the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying these videos. And uh, dude, look at it. It's literally snowmageddon out here, man. It's supposed to get 10 to 12 inches uh, by the end of the night. It's awesome, man. So everybody's freaking out. I should go back out, man, make some more money. What's up, guys? Little transition here. Check out the drone. Yes, we are gonna be flying the brand new Mavic Air. Mike Bedell should be here any minute. Uh, my Broby One Kenobi, uh, Mr. Bedell. So a lot of you guys uh, have heard me mention his name. Mike Bedell runs Bedell Property Management up here in Milford, Michigan. And this guy is a stud, he's a legend. He is now my coach and mentor. Mike, whether you know that or not, you are. But anyway, he is uh, a very good friend of mine now. I would do anything for the guy. If Mike called me tomorrow and said, hey, I need to borrow your plow, plow truck, wouldn't even ask, go ahead, take it, rock and roll with it. This guy is a guy that I have been taking to steak dinners to learn the snow game. So he's gonna be up here in just a few minutes. We're gonna be hanging out, having fun. He's gonna salt my property before he catches a couple Z's and then basically has to do it all over again tomorrow morning. We finally got the Mavic Air drone, uh, some free time to fly it. It's a little windy, it's about 10 miles an hour right now, maybe 15, but that's just how it is right here off the highway at this property. Anyway, we're gonna be flying the drone. Hopefully uh, we can get some pretty cool shots. We may even do a plow setup video again, kind of like I did with my friend Alex Leica. Fidel's got a 550 with a 10 foot DXT boss plow. Absolutely monster truck, monster setup, I love it. So we're gonna go tag the uh, tag team, maybe do that video if we don't freeze our butt off in the meantime. So any which way, I wanna say a big thank you to a couple of you guys that have been using our affiliate link for the DJI drone. Of course, we do get a small commission for that one. A couple of you guys saw my drone unboxing video. I'll leave a card up for that one. Uh, it's absolutely a, a blast flying this thing. I've only been able to do it a few times. By the way, little side note for you guys, totally unrelated, but if you actually uh, pick up one of these drones, check out State Farm. They insure these things for like $35. Uh, and that covers everything including if you lose the drone which is kind of statistically probably likely instead of paying the $90 for the DJI refresh plus a $70 deductible but anyway all that being said let's go fly the drone uh, we'll hang out until Mike gets here and let's go have some fun <laughs> what's up <laughs>
Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Fidel. Uh, this guy, he's watched a bunch of my videos. We actually became uh, buds this last year, meeting at the uh, Wine Guards open house. So this is the guy that handles all my salt. This guy has coached me in business as well. He's probably put about 10 or 15 grand in my pocket this year too. But uh, I've about put like $300 with a good steak in your belly. That's true. <laughs> this is true. So it's a, it's a totally good trade-off. But um, so we just got done flying the drone. You guys saw some footage of that. Uh, Mike was just making a good suggestion to show you guys what the property looks like after uh, applying granular bulk salt, right? Yep. All right, so it's treated bulk salt. It is. Maybe explain to them why we're doing treated bulk salt. Uh, right now it's uh, roughly about 14 degrees outside. and It's uh, freezing cold. It is, it is, and that's not including wind chill. And uh, this is a windy site, uh, so uh, bulk salt typically stops working about 18 degrees okay. and uh, loses its effectiveness, especially when it's dark out. Uh, uh, it can be enhanced by some sunlight on a cold, sunny day. But uh, at these temperatures, we're going to have to uh, use a treated salt or uh, treat that salt with liquid calcium chloride using a pre-wetting system. Okay. Um, so we had the, the granular uh, rig out, our F550, uh, yeah. just servicing some other sites. Uh, Brian gave me the go-ahead to come here and uh, service this site for him. So. Uh, I yeah. uh, stopped in, get a little footage while we're here. Yeah, this guy, uh, he's the one that subs out, does all my salt, as you guys uh, have heard, and uh, it's a great relationship, great partnership. Yeah, it's worked um, well. I can only do so much at once, learn so much at once, and tackle so much at once, and let's be honest, buy so much stuff at once. Yeah. And uh, so this guy's been bailing me out, and uh, it's been a great relationship, great partnership. Um, do you want to do a quick pan? We'll show him the property. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll just do a quick uh, highlight of the truck. We'll have to do a plow setup video, though, like a whole standalone video. Yeah, sure. When it's actually 45 degrees. Yeah, which is like kidding. which is in March or April around here. But uh, let's take a quick pan of the property. You guys can see that it's already starting to melt a little bit. He's got the 550, the Boss. Was it 10 foot? Yep, 10 foot DXT. Sweet. So looking really good. How long does it take for this stuff to uh, to melt and to uh, take effect? Uh, well, at these temperatures, it's obviously slower than a sunny day. But uh, the fact that we're already seeing some melting and we just finished an application about 10 minutes ago, yeah. uh, that, that's, that's a good, a good thing. Especially uh, up by the front of the building, we put it down a little heavier. Uh, so uh, the fact that it's already liquefying, uh, that's going to be great. We'll be back out overnight. Um, I'm actually going to be swinging. Yeah, I'm going to be swinging through with our liquid deicer setup. It never ends. It never ends here. This and, this winter has been nuts. Yeah. You're you're my numbers guy, my stat guy. How many uh salt runs have we done so far and uh how many plow I mean we have to have been twelve or fourteen plow runs at least. Yeah, right? I'd say that's that's generally right. I know we're yeah. over thirty salt runs at this point. Is that crazy? Yeah. And uh we're above average this winter for uh for Michigan. Yeah, we're we're right we've hit about our average snowfall Is that right? and we're in, before Valentine's Day. So we still got uh, six weeks to go at least. Yeah, I think uh, things are aligning with uh, the forecasting that we used preseason that put us uh, about 20% above our average snowfall, about 60 inches. I think we'll hit that. That's a pretty good year to get started plowing and uh, salting, I guess, too, right? Yes, it's a good year for Brian to make these investments. <laughs> I'm, no I'm, doubt. I'm getting baptized by fire. The first snowstorm was like five inches. You guys saw those videos. Then it was like eight inches, right? Yeah. And uh, it just hasn't stopped. It, it hasn't. We've had a few tiny little little breaks we may actually get a couple days off uh Hopefully. brian will get some time off i'll be worrying about refreeze this week uh but well, i gotta uh, take my girl to valentine's day yeah and, uh, to dinner well yeah. so do you yeah so do <laughs> I. if not we're all in trouble right guys so all right well uh, we'll wrap this one up if you guys enjoyed this video this man the myth the legend he does exist uh this yeah. guy is my coach and mentor uh whether you know that or not and uh he, he's <laughs> i owe him a lot of steak a lot more steak so i gotta take him actually i probably i'm probably do so we gotta go to black rock anytime soon and go get some steak and uh fondue pretzel dip Ooh. Now we're talking, right? So the currency for a good mentor is always food, right? Yeah, we won't say no. Yeah, it works on this guy at least, right? So, <laughs> all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, before you know it, we'll be doing a uh, wraparound video, a tour of Mike's uh, 550 dump setup. It's a sweet truck. That's his plow setup. So stay tuned for that in the next week or two, whenever we find time. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, maybe in the next week or two. So, all right, guys, over and out. We'll catch you on the rebound. Peace.